So today I'm putting a turbo on my Hilux uh, from Max Speeding Rods. Um, you can see that I've pulled the old turbo off. Um, that's just a matter of undoing these four bolts uh, that hook it onto the manifold, the oil feed and drain, and something to make it a bit easier is if you actually disconnect the dump pipe. So you can undo the three bolts that attach it to the exhaust and that just makes it easier to pull it out. Um, now I've got the turbo sitting up here with the coolant lines still plugged in. Um, you can see them back here and they're the last things that I'll um, <coughs> reinstall. And the reason why I'm pulling this turbo out is because the oil seals in it are gone and it's leaking oil basically out of everywhere it can. Um, and it was just uh, cheaper to get a good quality replacement turbo than to try and rebuild this one. So there's the box. Comes with a brand new turbo, a CT20, and all the gaskets you need to install it. Gaskets and bolts, all brand new. Let me just put you down and then I'll come back to it. So there's the turbo unboxed. Uh, looks to be pretty good quality. Um, spins freely. Absolutely no shaft play in any direction. Um, good sealing everywhere as well. The casting looks like it's very good quality. Um, actually very very similar to the OEM one, I can't spot any any differences. Um, yeah. So we'll have a go at putting it on. So, um, like I said, I've left the coolant lines still attached to that one. We'll do them last just to keep it a little less messy. Uh, and the dump pipe is unbolted from the exhaust. So the easiest way to do it is to get the... Uh, dump pipe, bolt it to the new turbo, uh, not tight just so it's a loose fit, and then snug it down back onto the car. So we'll give that a go. So the first thing you're going to have to do is to pull out these studs. There's one, two, three, four of them on this side to go to the dump pipe. And then you've got two more studs here and here that uh, attach the oil feed and drain. So you've got to pull them out. The oil feed and drain is uh, easy, it's an M6. Uh, so you just get a spanner with an M6 and you can undo that. Um, and these studs over here on the dump pipe side, uh, just get two nuts, uh, M8 nuts, lock them together and you should be able to get them out as well. So we'll do that now. So once you've got those studs out, just screw them in like that into the new one. You don't have to do them extremely tight, that's tight enough. Um, and then we'll just get the oil drain ones in. So now that we've got our studs mounted in, uh, put the new gasket so that's supplied with the kit on it. There's also another gasket that goes here on the inlet manifold and you also get gaskets for the uh, oil feed and drain. So once all of those are in place, you get the dump pipe and you simply pop it on like that and then just bolt it down. So the turbo is bolted to the dump pipe, it's bolted to the inlet manifold down here and it's bolted to the uh, oil feed and drain down there. Next thing to do is to hook up the inlet for the compressor side and the outlet. So now the water lines are hooked up there and there. So in my setup I've got the water going flow through um, but the kit does come with all the gaskets and a blanking plate so you can um, do the factory setup and just have a single inlet and outlet and the other side blocked off. And now all we'll do is we'll take off these um, bolts here and put the heat shields back on the turbo and the dump pipe.